Hello and welcome. Now here's a blast from the past, a slideshow I produced years and years and years ago. It was done in Gold 2.6. There were no layers. It was made up just purely of images and transitions. But what I actually did is I collected the show together. Now we'll cover this towards the end of the video. That's allowed me to put the audio, the images, if I had any videos they'd be sort of saved in that folder there, into one folder and here we are transferred it from computer to computer many times down the line until we've arrived at this stage. If I just click open, there they are again showing the audio, the images, any videos. I'm just going to come to this, I'm going to delete that because I'll bring this one in at the end. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Thank you very much. Off you go. And clicking on Wild Bits 2 in it pops. This was the original show. I did it purely for the effect. I love the music. There were no layers involved in this show, so what I wanted to do is sort of create uh, using the transitions and just the single layers to make up the image. We'll cover this as we go through though. Looking at it later, I thought, wouldn't it be good to put in some backgrounds? So, coming to show, we're going to go to show backgrounds. We're going to come to this, we're going to click on image. We're going to come to browse, we're going to come to add from media sources. Pro Show Gold built in content, click in open, click in backgrounds come into this icon, changing it to thumbnails. Now we can see what we're looking at. There's hundreds to choose from. So we're going to come down, we're going to click on this one here. Click in open. And you'll notice, I've actually got a slightly different color. First thing, check out scaling. Fill frame. Originally it might open up fit to frame. There it is there. Make sure, because you've got black and you've got black below, we have a fill frame which will let down the hem and you've now got uh, windows or curtains that will cover your full window. Hue, good old hue, as you may have noticed, will give me blue curtains, which is the colour I thought would work better. You can also take the brightness down a touch or two, just the dark and the whole thing down, that looks better there. Click in Done. That's put them in. Now when we play, it's going to come across. But we still come into the Dissolve. And as I said, this slideshow was really about transitions. So clicking on the AB, just off the screen, I'm going to click on this one. There's our opening curtains. Let's take a look now. When we play this, it's coming through. Curtains are opening. Time is spot on. So I'm going to leave that as it is. And there we are, we're off into the show. Now, what this was about is if I just click here, this is the start image. Scrolling through, this here is the final image and all the other bits and pieces are made up from the layers that would have made up this image. And what I actually did, if you just check it out, if we just double click here, come into effects and if we come to motion effect, you see they're all single layers because that's all we had in 2.6 in the good old days. Right, let's just come to this one because you'll notice we've got curtains on the background. Want to change it, want to edit it, just double click. We're going to come to slide, we're going to come to background, override show background for this slide, click on that. Going to come to image, going to come to browse, add files, and we're going to click on this one here. We're going to click open. Now, it's actually re remembered the settings I put in, so I'm just quickly unticking those, hoping you didn't notice. And we're going to click on the brightness, going to darken the whole thing down, white point. Bringing this up, you'll notice the lighter areas there are brightening up, so let's brighten those up a little bit. Black point will darken down the shadow areas, so just darkening that down a touch or two. Good old hue, let's bring hue in as well. We're going to change the color there. Nice bit of green coming through, so we just change the color of the image. Just checking out as well, fit to frame is in there, which it will be. Now when we come through with this, what's going to happen? There's the original with the title. It's going to fade in so that and you notice the col colors changing slightly before the original image and then off into the show. Right, coming through to this one. There's our curtains again. Now this is coming from one show, that's the Eddie Steiner. We're coming into this one here, which is called Double Take. Now looking at this, if we just double click, once again I want to change this show's background. Override show background. We're going to come to Image, click in Browse image file and that's the one we're after there. Clicking open, you'll notice it's remembered the settings I've had in there, so quickly unchecking those. Taking the brightness down. Taking the white point up a bit. Taking the black point down. Whoa, not as far as that. 
So that sort of area there. But with this one now, we're going to click on Colorize. It's going to switch this on. Click on Settings, and I'm going to bring this up just to brighten it a little bit, and perhaps take it a little bit into the red tones as well. That will look pretty good. Just looking at the preview there to see the way it's going to work. And we're going to click on Set Color. We're going to click on OK. So now when this comes through, I want this the transition there, which if we click, you can see the transition. It shows this blue band around it. That's the one we've got. I want it to make it look as if this image is being sucked through into the image there, into the mirrors, before we start the next phase. Great stuff. Works a treat. You can view this uh, show online as well. If I just come through, because there's one other part I wanted to change. Where's it gone? This one here. You see it's got the curtain background, so once again I want to change this. Clicking on the override images there, and we're going to click on browse as we did before, exactly the same. We're going to come down, that's the one I wanted to use, pop it in, just adjusted the colours there to taste, as well as using the colorize there. That's the colour we've selected. You can change it, make it a little bit redder if you want to. Click in set colour, click in OK. So now when this one comes through, it's going to come through from the color wheel. So we've got the background showing there. This is the top layer now coming in, which is going to come and form the next part of the slideshow. Zooming through, you'll see all the various bits and pieces before we end up with the finished image, which is this one here from the double, well, well, what became my double take image. There it is there. He says tripping over tongue. Right, coming to the end. Finally, it's going to come through and it's going to finish here again with the curtains. So we're back to the original blue that we put in at the very, very beginning. Right, let's shoot to the beginning. We're going to come to File. We're going to come to Save As because we're now going to have a look at actually collecting the show together so it forms these folders. Got Wild Bits 2 there, so I'm just going to put in Wild Bits. We're going to click Save. Right, now we can come to File collect show files. There's all the show files. Now I'm actually chosen to copy the files to. You can select whatever destination you want. I'm going to pop them on my desktop sh purely so I can show you this as we go through them. There's the number of image files which is 22. We got one audio file and there's all the collective bits and pieces there. We can also save the list. If I could just click on this I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to click save. That's actually now saved this as a text file clicking collect will save all of these it's copying it as we are speaking and click OK to that right and let's just drop this down out the way let's take a look there's the images there's the wild bits of, whoops popped in the folder but it <laughs> pops in there it's not what I meant to do right there it is there out you come thank you very much right there's the video if we had some it would be in there there's the audio just bring in from a different direction. There's our text file. If you just click on that, there it is. All the bits and pieces which made up this show are now listed there, so we know exactly where they we, they came from. The images, as we've seen, are in this folder, so it's a great way of keeping your show together. Then you can come to it at a later stage. You can transfer it to a different hard drive, just different computer, whatever, but it keeps everything together for you. And as we've seen to this with this show, how we can actually use the background to become part of the show and edit them as well. Go on, give it a try. Until the next time, happy imaging and take care.